prayer is always answered provided it is rightly said. There are two types of prayers. Egocentric prayer is called Sakama Prarthana. Sakam Upasana, Sakam Bhakti, egocentric prayer makes you very poor, petty. And you cannot go beyond that. Oh Lord, give me this. Oh Lord, give me this. All the time you are begging. And it makes you a beggar. It, it, it never improves your life. Because you are all the time feed, feeding ego or ego. It is not considered to be a great prayer. So sometimes it is heard and sometimes it is not. Because it is just to feed your ego. Otherwise, all the prayers are answered. The answers which you do not receive from any quarter, from anyone, because life itself is a big question mark. No matter how much one explains, yet there is a question. Every individual has a question. And that individual wants that question to be answered by someone higher, greater. So you call him God. You pray to God. But that prayer should, lo should be God-centric prayer. Do not ask anything from God because God already knows your needs. There, there is difference between need, want, wish and desire. Our days are laden with wants and night with desires. Thus we remain disturbed all the time and put blame on God and say, the way I suffer, it's because of Lord. It's He who makes me suffer. Let us understand that all the cause of suffering is because of our deeds, karma. Never forget this law, universal law, accepted by all great religions and Bibles of the world. As you sow, so shall you reap. If you have understood this key, then you try your best to perform your actions and learn the philosophy of non-attachment, which is called love. Love means non-attachment. Love does not mean attachment. Attachment brings misery, pain. Non-attachment gives you freedom. You see. That which is considered to be lust, we call it love. Actually, love means non-attachment. Saint Bernard beautifully said, all the things of the world are to be enjoyed, but God alone should be loved. Our scriptures also say how to conduct that prayer Lead me from the unreal to the real. Lead me from darkness to light. Lead me from mortality to immortality. Asato ma sad gamaya, tamaso ma jyotir gamaya, mrityur ma mokshi amritat. Three desires are expressed in the prayer. 
lead me from the untruth to the truth. Untruth means this apparent reality which seems to be real but not. In, it's not absolute real. Lead me from this to the ultimate truths. Lead me from darkness to light. Dispel all the ignorance that is created by our karma, our mind, our action, our speech. Lead me from mortality to immortality. So far we are aware of the mortal aspect of life. A human being dies and then you do not know anything about it. He is born and he grows, becomes youth, goes to old age and then he dies. No, there is another aspect of life that is called immortality. Lead me from mortality to immortality, my Lord. So there are three prayers. One prayer is totally for spiritual wisdom leading from mortality to immortality. This physical awareness, this worldly awareness, from this awareness, Lord, lift us to the highest awareness that is called spiritual awareness. Second, darkness to light. Here darkness is symbolic. Darkness means ignorance. We suffer on account of ignorance. Buddha said, it's avidya, it's ignorance. That's mother of all problems. Let us be free from the ignorance. Who created this ignorance? It's not created by God. It's created by our own actions, by our own thinking, by our own understanding. So when you pray, become aware of the truth that is already within. Which God are you praying to? That's important to understand. Scriptures say, though God exists everywhere, it's omnipresent, omniscient and omnipotent, but that's only a knowledge part. That's not going to enlighten you. That which enlightens you when you come to know that God dwells in me. Then your life and concept of life is totally changed. You are transformed. Then you don't feel your individual existence, but you feel God exists in me. I am a living shrine of God. He walks with me. He witnesses all my actions. You see, He purifies my soul, which is spark of the ultimate truth. This way, constant consciousness, awareness leads to wisdom, gives you freedom from all the miseries and bondages. Asatoma sadgamaya. As a human being, my mind dissipates my actions, dissipate, is dissipated all the time. Oh Lord, oh Lord of life, oh Lord who is witnessing my actions, I am being aware of you, you are within me. You see. Lead me on the right path that which is beneficial for me, that which does not hurt others, that which does not injure others, Lord, lead me to the right path. <laughs>